Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We all have theories. Uh, you know, my theory is that you actually like the videos that I record and that we upload to YouTube. Could be a bad theory. You may prove me wrong with likes or dislikes. Uh, but there are two types of theory that are often confused with one another, game theory and decision theory. And we've written an article really outlining the differences between the two. But, you know, I wanted to take a moment to really talk about the decision-making process and what goes through your mind. I really want to know. And I, let's, let's just... Oh, that was the doorbell. So now I have to decide whether or not I'm going to get up from doing this video to stop the dogs from barking and answer the door or continue. Boy, that was, I swear I didn't time that. It, my decision is I'm going to stay right here. What decision process do you go through when you're going to buy a gadget? I'm just going to, I'm reining it in. Or when you're going to buy a piece of software. What goes through your mind before you do it? so that you know when you do it, you're not going to have buyer's remorse. So there's my general question in relation to your decision-making process. Doesn't, it's, it's somewhat associated with decision theory in a very loose construct, uh, but I am curious to know, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, read some of the comments that I see as we're broadcasting this video out live on uh, YouTube. You know, the way that I go through my decision-making process I have to decide, ultimately, what my goal is. And is that goal very, very important? It is. Therefore, I need to do whatever it is I need to do to make sure that goal is accomplished. And, you know, beyond that, it's, it's, it's less important. Beyond the idea of needing to accomplish a goal. So sometimes I need to take pictures. Therefore, I need something that can take pictures. And if I don't happen to have something that takes pictures, then I need to get something new. Well, how do I know I need something new? There's a lot of options out there. Well, what are my favorite features about a product? This is why, by the way, it is impossible to answer the question of which computer is better, which game is better, because everyone makes a different decision. Everybody has different wants, needs, or desires. Uh, you may like a digital camera because it has uh, you know, no flip-out LCD screen. I want a, a, a digital camera that has a flip-out LCD screen because I want that because I can pivot it in any direction and still see what's on the screen instead of always having to be straight at the screen or looking straight at the screen that, that really doesn't move. Different uh, decision process uh, that I go through, uh, you know, but analyzing and thinking about what it is that you want most uh, and, and the pain point uh, that you have to hit before it's time to make that decision uh, you know, everybody has a, a different way of, of this process. My uh, dad, uh, he, he still watches my YouTube videos. I don't know if he's going to watch this one, but he's thinking about getting an Xbox 360. And he wasn't sure. He sees a lot of specials going on right now, and that's cool. Uh, but he's asking, which one should I get? And I asked him, I said, well, what would you use it for? And he really couldn't answer the question. And then I said, well, then why are you getting it? I mean, he has a broadband connection, but would he really use all the media options on the Xbox 360? No more than he would on a PS3. It's not that the PS3 is a better option for him. He may not be the person that would want to get a gaming console or what has been seen traditionally as a gaming console, what will eventually evolve into a media console. That's my, uh, well, it's been my opinion for a number of years, and Microsoft has only proven me right with as much as, uh, media as they've integrated, specifically with the new dashboard software releases. So it may take him a year to come up, uh, make up his mind of whether he wants an Xbox. Uh, I can tell him right now he's, he's not the market for it. Um, that's not that I don't like the Xbox. I have plenty of, I have several Xboxes in my home. I happen to love the Xbox. I love the PS3. I, I, I love the Wii. They're not mutually exclusive. Each one of them works well for what they need to do and what they do. Uh, but coming to a decision is, is different for every single one of us. I want to know what it takes for you uh, to, to come to a decision. Uh, Moros100 says, put it in my cart. Then I decide if I need to accomplish anything. I will weed out the things that I don't need to accomplish, if, uh, accomplish anything. If I'm going to buy that book, for instance, and this is the example he uses, what will I use it for? If I buy that game, will I use, play, or enjoy it? Things you got to think about. It's not just about owning something or, or having something. What decision process do you go through? Uh, another question some people uh, w w are picking up on, do you buy a product because of its brand? Asks New Blue Geek. I absolutely do not. I don't believe that. And some people disagree with me. 
They ask me, well, how much money is Apple paying you? As much money as Google is for promoting Chrome or Microsoft is for promoting the Xbox. <laughs> Squat! <laughs> uh, so it, when you go to buy a product, anything, what is your process? What do you go through that is foolproof for you? Everyone's going to have a different perspective, and I think we can all benefit uh, from learning the decision-making uh, process that every one of us uh, has to go through. So you know what you do? Uh, leave a comment here. Read the article. Leave a comment there, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll share our ideas and potentially come up with a better decision-making process, or at least that's my theory.